But we started something new, something that had never been done before. When you started the project, people were accepting uh, drugs and certain elements as a way of life. Nobody really had any solution um, as far as the neighborhood. What we did with this work here 30 years is introduce the community to new ways of doing things. Using art as a vehicle, uh, a medicine. 140 countries that's been here. I got have people here today, yesterday, from China. Williams College actually performed an economic impact study on the project um, using a fraction of our visitorship, just 50,000 people annually, and determined that we contribute 3.2 million to the Wayne County region and 2.7 million to the immediate community. Now that's big numbers, but then when you look at the effects that the project has had on individual lives, and that's the one that I think is equally important is giving people a reason to believe in themselves and that if you can do this, if one man can, in his own neighborhood, his own community, create a world-class arts initiative or arts organization, what is possible for me? When the uh, matriarch passed, she gave us the keys and wanted us to memorialize this house and keep it in as a part of the Hyderabad project. After 30 years, know that it's time to go in a new direction. You know, it's time for the community to be more involved in the development of the Heidelberg Project and to now start looking at ways in which they become empowered. And getting the people to work together collectively, the time is so perfect, so perfect to do something radical once again. And that's Heidelberg 3.0 and that's exciting be able to build on an economic energy, helping to jumpstart an yes. arts community in a community where the statistics are staggering. You know, the African-American male mortality rate in this community is 55%. And that translates into young men between the ages of 14 and 28 only having a 45% chance of escaping death or jail. So bringing an art project into the community and helping that to grow can provide jobs. We already provide jobs for yes. the community. We're educating young yes. kids and we're giving them a reason. We want to continue uh, the Everything. art exhibitions mm -hmm. and, and give an up and coming artist art shows here in the Number House. Come on in. It's cool, it's funky, it's eclectic, and it's also falling apart. The roof is in uh, very bad repair here at the house. Um, it's definitely something um, that needs to be fixed. But you can see that this upstairs space is a very large space. It's a space that we could use as offices here. It could be a potential studio space. Um, we don't have any running water in the house. Um, it would be amazing if we could uh, reattach the main line to the water source, have a running uh, washroom. I think it's important that we be responsible for helping to build some kind of a legacy. I want to grow this. Nah, I, I really want to take it to the next level, and I need financial support now. I'm saying to the people, I want you to go where you've never been in your way of thinking.